Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on JNTU Lab. So, this is the very first video of Arduino board. So, basically, um, now we are concentrating on Arduino board because now many projects are coming together, coming near, all major projects are coming near. So, basically, you will be entering in the third year. In 3 2, you will be doing your mini projects. And who entered in fourth year, they will be doing their major projects in 4 2. So, basically, we are concentrating right now before 6 months so that you will be getting all the videos which are required in your project so basically this is the Arduino board so before getting every information what is this and what is this what are this and what is this what is this everything let us discuss some features basic features of this so basically I will be discussing here two things then I will be going to a slide slideshow where I will be telling some points and again we will be coming back here okay so basically it contains two microcontrollers yes you are correct it contains two microcontrollers at mega 3 to 8 this is the long one you which you can able to see this this is only the arduino board this uh, this is a board okay they have designed a board for a microcontroller so microcontroller is the heart so, like pcb you have your processor right so that is processor without hard disk the, in this e difference between microcontroller and microprocessor you will be anyhow you will be learning in your academics i will be not be concentrating on that but this is one board which they have developed in which they are using atmega 328 microcontroller get this in your fix this in your mind okay and one more thing they are using atmega 16u2 microcontroller which is used for ic or usb controller is they have told ic or usb controller what the thing i will be telling you what is this ic or usb controller but remember friends this is atmega 328 microcontroller is the heart and the next ic microcontroller is not that much useful but it is useful without this we can't connect our laptop or a system with this arduino you know get into the point so basically it has 16 megahertz it runs its frequency is 16 megahertz and like 8051 it does not have a unique 11.058 micro kilohertz something like that frequency okay it runs on standard 16 megahertz frequency and it has inbuilt rc phase shift oscillator and which it can generate 2 to 8 frequency okay 2 to 8 kilohertz frequency okay no not kilo that is mega mega okay 2 to 8 megahertz of frequency it can generate in built without this crystal oscillator also it can generate itself a oscillation with using rc phase shift oscillator which is in built okay remember friends now let us go for slide for going little bit deeper it is an 8-bit microcontroller what does this 8-bit re represents it 8-bit represent 8 it can process 8 data lines it can process 8 bits in single clock pulse remember friends okay it can process 8 bits in single clock pulse that is nothing but 8 bit microcontroller and remaining things not required next is a physical computing and it is an open source which uh, you can able to see the things which are used for writing codes is an open source like you will be using keel for your arm it is you have to buy that but it is open Arduino is and the hardware abstracted writing languages usb programmable large community and it is less inexpensive you can buy it in 2500 that's it so basically at mega 328 you can able to see in any pptc i have gone to google and i have searched for ptpt on Arduino. that's the reason i have got this i found that it is okay quite useful for you it will be useful so that's the reason i am telling about it wherever you see you they will be discussing only about at mega 328 that is 8 bit microcontroller they will be not discussing one more thing one more microcontroller which is used that is at mega 16 u2 why i will be telling you in this video at the last or end of the video you will be going to know so voltage regulator it ha it has and it is risk based which is 16 megahertz which already i have told and it has inbuilt 32k kilobytes of memory 6 channels 10 bit adc inbuilt it has 10 bit adc remember friends why we require a a to d converters we will be discussing when we will be talking about analog programs okay in digital programs we will not be discussing this is the basic introduction video friends okay we have a pwm output also where in 8051 we don't have that i2c and a connector we have spi serial peripheral interface connector we have this boards okay so this is the second one and this is the third one this is the overview of the board which we will be discussing and we 
we can do we have digital pins unlock pins serial communication can be done okay so these are the three things which we can able to do so terminology io boards main controller these things are not required right now and these are the different kinds of boards you can which you can find in markets and this kind of different types of lcds which you can buy in market so that is the basic diagram they have given so thanks for sharing whoever had shared it the video now let us go to deep in this microcontroller what does it contains basically what does it contains we will see it contains a power supply right it contains a power supply next it contains a voltage regulator if there are any glitches nothing but you you have spikes in your voltages right it is not constant then it controls it okay voltage regulator next it has a crystal oscillator this is nothing but a crystal which generates 16 megahertz of frequency then it contains a usb port this is that your usb port it is b b port b type we have different usb okay if you search in google we have a type b type c type these are different categories of usbs okay this is also a usb if you see this port is also a usb i'll show you in google i will just search in google and i will show you a to b connector uh, that is but when you will be playing with this arduino board they will be giving a wire to connect your pc with this arduino board that is nothing but a to b cable they call it as so how a looks like and how b looks like will be seen okay this is the b remember friends this is b and one reset button we have these two are your capacitors these capacitors are used for this voltage regulator right this voltage you supply na so for that they have voltages and this is one kind of diode and for this we have this ic okay if we connect both of them this is a comparator ic okay we have not mentioned in this picture also but remember friends we have a comparator ic which i'll go from top to bottom okay so let me zoom it off and let me show you everything every parts as i know everything as i know something not everything of this board so let us go so this is nothing but your comparator when you give sub power supply from this as well as this yes usb cable and well as well as a connector then it don't know, uh, arduino board get confused which level to be used then we use comparator so that the comparator output is given to this microcontroller so that's the reason we use this okay this is your another microcontroller which i have told you that is nothing but atmega 16u2 microcontroller what does it do is means my microcontroller doesn't know usb language it doesn't have usb port usb it can have i2c it knows i2c language it knows nothing but these are protocols it knows i2c protocol it knows spi protocol it knows but it doesn't know usb protocol so to communicate with the, my pc as, as well as my microcontroller i require this microcontroller at mega 16u2 so that it can convert this usb language to my microcontroller understandable language so that's the reason we use this remember friends okay nobody tells you so in my channel you can able to know that's the thing we can use it and this is your usb interface you can able to see usb interface i i c s p for usb interface we can usb to interface your usb we will be using this for i to c serial clock serial data we have so i'll be telling how this all things looks like like usb how how many wires are there and next uh, i to c how many wires are there spi how many wires are there what are the different things uh, hardware architecture i will be telling you and you can able to imagine that okay this looks these have this many things so that i i should write the program in su in such a way that this has to be activated or this has to be deactivated and this pin will be acted as a input pin or this pin active will act as an output pin so that the thing you will be knowing so you just ignore this miso master in slave out master out slave in so in in this we have spi see i to c we have two two lines that is nothing but serial clock and serial data nothing but we have a clock and we have a serial data this is an half duplex full duplex half duplex we will be learning right so one wire is used for data in i to c and one wire is used for serial clock depending upon the clock pulse my pc will be giving my bits serially and one time it it can transmit or it can receive it can't do both at single clock but where in spi see we have a separate clock where we we have a master in this is an input 
and slave out and this is a master out if it is as used as a master then it will be an act as an output and it will act as an input so we have different lines here as slave select we can select the slaves means if two or more things are connected then we can select the slave also and we can program it okay so those are four different parameters are used and we have different dedicated pins you can able to see that there are the small lines present in front of the numbers in each and every pin so that is nothing but pwm pins pulse width modulation pins in your ac analog circuits you will be learning this i think ac will be coming in the third year so you will be learning in third year so if you are watching before third year just remember that pwm is a one type of clock pulse where we can adjust the clock on and off time okay that's the thing you remember and we have two interrupts and transmit and receive we can transmit the data or receive the data for that we have transmitter section and receiver section okay leds nothing but leds and 13th pin is always connected to your led so that you can program it and you can check blinking blinking of led you can do it reset button you i have completed this portion right i have completed this all this is nothing but your resistor these are nothing but your capacitors resistors in small small components okay now let us come down little down here is icsp for 8 mega 32 so this is nothing but mosi and moso miso and this is one kind of and protocol to program this 8 mega so basically we will be not be using anywhere but remember friends whenever you buy a new 8 mega nothing but you know board you have to load a boot loader you have to first of all you have to dump a boot loader nothing but a bios in your computer you have a inbuilt bios right they will program the inbuilt bios and then they will be giving to us okay and they will be launching the market so similarly it has boot loader okay in boot loader we have to load boot we have to dump a code in it so how to dump it by using these pins we can dump it by using these pins we have we will be dumping the code inside this uh, arduino atmega 328 microcontroller and these are your analog pins and this is your voltage in v in re reference voltage when you when we will be talking about the analog signals now we will be discussing about v in okay v in nothing but analog vol voltage this is a analog or dc voltage we can apply here and we can check uh, compare other voltages with this reference voltage uh, we will be talking later what is this next we have two grounds one voltage and 3.3 voltage reset external reset this is i o reference and this is not connected i think every part is completed in this video so let us meet in next video i think the video had went so long if you like this video please just press that like button don't subscribe until and unless you like all two to three videos of this series okay if you are dedicated with this channel then you should you will be learn you will be learning more i know but unless and until you like the videos don't subscribe to my channel because i don't re require subscribers i require the genuine people who understand me you just comment below stating that i have not understood anything just you tell me more briefly so that i will be in my upcoming videos i will be telling you in more briefly thank you for watching with this video have a nice day